Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Karen Lavender Clothesline. And if you're new to my channel, I am a full-time eBay reseller and this is what my channel is about. So about 10 years ago, I started selling on eBay and I fully support myself this way. In this video, we're gonna talk about items that are returned to again and again to look for in estate sales, barn sales, thrift stores, auction houses, wherever I'm shopping. I look for these items to be able to flip them for real Really good profit. Presently, I am still selling over $100,000 worth on eBay every year, which is crazy to even think of because I'm also making YouTube videos and running my house. So if any of that interests you, hit that like and subscribe button. Today we're talking about items that bring a really good profit. So the first thing I'd love to look for are holiday decorations that are vintage. Christmas being the number one holiday for decorations still in retail and resale. I always love finding Christmas decorations. I think last year around this time I did a video with a whole table full of vintage items. Here I'm going to point out one that I picked up the other day so you guys can keep an eye open for these. These are vintage bubble lights. This is what it looks like. These are new in box. As you can tell, lots of wear to the box, very vintage box. And what did I pay for this? I paid $4 for it. So these are little plastic lights, candle lights, and they have a liquid in them. Tell you the truth, I don't even know what the liquid is, but they warm up and the liquid bubbles. I think they warm up. Is that how it works? I'm not even sure, but I'm selling them. I have sold these in the past. Now, in the past, I've had the bigger sets and I've gotten over $100 for them. This is only a set of seven, but I'm still expecting a strong $40. So four into $40. It is a little bit late in the year to be getting them on, but I am listing as fast as I can with everything else going on in life. So this is the first thing you want to look for when you go into a thrift store or a yard sale. See if they have any vintage ornaments or decorations. Now, you got to make sure that they're true vintage because a lot of times retail people, retail companies will make uh, decorations that mimic the old, but they're, you know, current, they're contemporary. But usually by the box, you can tell that they are vintage. A lot of times you'll see this UL listed and that is what it looks like. Another item that I love to find are high quality candles. So here is Colonial Candle in a box. Now the box does have damage. I'm not even worried about that. If you can find genuine bayberry candles, those bring really good money, but pretty much any high quality candle. Now, how do you tell if it's high quality? You have to run a comp. You have to learn your companies. Colonial candle, I recognized right away. And these are, I call these the chubby tapers. I don't know if that's the true name of it. They do still have their labels on them and just says colonial candle and it has a lot of numbers but this is what this looks like they are in red eight in a box so that's what that looks like and like i said you really have to run comps to know if it's a quality brand once you learn it though you're never going to forget it you'll see them and this is something that sits on the shelf at a thrift store because a lot of people don't want to buy candles in a box from a thrift store I'm not quite sure why four dollars if you are a reseller you really want to check your items and compare them to items that have already sold that that item brought that price not what people are asking but what kind of price things are really bringing so that is item number two high quality candles there are also candle companies that we currently know like yankee candle um, companies like that even bed bath and beyond some of those candles if it's a rare scent that is um, discontinued some of those can bring very good money too, but I have a tendency to look for the high quality candles that a lot of people might not recognize the name. And Colonial Candle is one of those companies. Another type of item that I wanna talk about are shoes where people don't generally gravitate towards that brand of shoe unless they know the name. So as we know, so many resellers are online flipping Nikes or Hoka's or just different types of sneakers and even some shoes. I know Johnny Was Shoes is still a big seller for me. You guys know I love Johnny Was. But here is a name that took me a couple of years to recognize. This is Stuart Weitzman. 
So this is what the branding looks like. I'm not sure if that's going to show for you. And one of the reasons that I have a tendency not to pick up Stuart Weitzman, a lot of times this brand is overpriced in the thrift store, or I should say high priced, not overpriced. So these were sitting in the showcase in a recent thrift store trip. And I'm just going to look and see what I paid for them. If the tag is still on here, I think they had these marked for $44, which I very rarely pay $44 for anything unless it's like really good furniture, but it was half off day and people were not realizing it. So I got these gorgeous Stuart Weitzman booty shoes, gorgeous leather, beautiful condition. They look barely worn for $22. Again, I will try to put comps on the screen of what Stuart Weitzman can bring. Now, just because you find the brand doesn't mean that the shoe you find is going to bring that kind of money. But this is a gorgeous leather booty. Booties are very high in fashion, you know, very trending still, and women seem to love them. And Stuart Weitzman is such a gorgeous quality shoe. So I'm expecting to get over $100 for these shoes. So I kind of didn't mind paying the $22. This next item is so large, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you the whole thing with sitting down, but I'm going to give it a try. It is a chenille bedspread. If you learn what chenille looks like, you can spot this from across the room. So you want to look for vintage ones. There are two main brands that bring a lot of money. We're talking over $500, and I have found one of those before. That is Hoffman. <laughs> the lint is flying all over the place. Um, another one is Morgan Jones. Those two brand names bring the highest amount of money that I've seen. This one unfortunately doesn't have any labels, but I'm going to show it to you because I'm convinced this one is going to bring very good money. So if you don't know what chenille is, go ahead and give it an, even a Google search or an eBay comp search. I'm going to bring this closer to the camera. So it is a cotton base and then on it is almost like a pom-pom type of yarn uh, sticking out. That's the best way I can describe it. It almost looks like a bathroom rug maybe, um, but it's always very 3D looking and textural. Now, if you find the ones that have great interest, I've seen ones with Tree of Life. I've seen Peacock ones by Hoffman, I think. That one was gorgeous. I recently saw a comp, I'll include this too, of I think it was a boxer. Who's the famous boxer? I can't even think of his name now. Uh, vintage again. I think that one brought $750. Who do I want to say? Joe somebody. Joe Boxer. <laughs> I have no idea. But I'll insert the screenshot so um, we can all refresh my memory. Here is this one. See this here? It's very raised and textured. And this one is in gorgeous condition. So I was thrilled to find this. And I think I've cut the tag off. I think I paid $7.95 for it. So I'm excited for this one. I'll report back on Instagram, lavender clothesline of what this one brings. It's not only vintage linens that bring really good money. Sometimes contemporary linens that you'd find in the store now would bring good money. I recently, a couple months ago, um, showed a Christian Dior baby blanket. I mean, a little receiving baby blanket that I did very well with. And I'm constantly picking up Pottery Barn. After this part of the video, I will do a high profit thrift finds just for linens because I sell so many linens at such great profit. Sometimes I'm afraid to share it. Because if you go into any thrift store, if you think about it, the linens aisle is only one or two aisles. It's not like shoes or clothing where there's rack after rack. But uh, linens, you really have to know your stuff, but it is worth learning about them. Not as easy to learn as, say, picking up, you know, a Nike sneaker or, or picking up, you know, Levi's button fly jeans. Linens are a little more obscure, but so worth learning about them. All right, so the next two items are contemporary, meaning not vintage, and I picked them up anyway. We're gonna take a look at those. All right, so this print I saw from across the store, and I knew that this was good quality just by the print. I hadn't even felt it yet. I'm going to show you the tag for it. If I can find it, just the pillowcase, here it is. 
This is a brand called Merimiko. Merimiko is a brand in itself. They, a couple of years ago, did a collab with Target. Now, if you find Merimiko for Target, it brings a lot less money, and the Target bullseye will be on the label with Merimiko. The Target um, bullseye is on every label with whoever they collab for. But Merimiko itself, um, they do clothing, they do home goods, beautiful quality, and I'm gonna show you this tag. I almost thought it might have been Kate Spade because it kind of has a Kate Spade look. And unfortunately, I only found one pillowcase and one flat sheet. I'm not even sure what size sheet this is. Probably queen from the weight of it. Queen or king, it's a bigger one. But do I want these? Absolutely, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mary Miko is beautiful quality. And if you find Mary Miko clothing, you definitely want to run a comp. I had a Mary Miko dress. Again, it was a very bold print. And I put that up for auction. I think that was last year. And I can't tell you how many bids that dress got. I think I started it at like $30. And that thing went way in the 300s for one simple dress. So Mary Miko, I'm going to write the name on the screen, is is a name to look for, especially in linens. This next set of drapes is almost like a sateen. It's got a little bit of a sheen to them. And I thought, what a beautiful pink. That was my first reaction to it. This company really did the pink well. It's almost like a ballet pink. That's what kind of pink I call this. That's my words, not theirs. And I'm gonna show you the label for this one. Now, again, this is a company that does collabs or did a collab with Target. It is Rachel Ashwell. And you know what? It wasn't even um, it wasn't even a collab. It was that Target carried the in-house brand. But that was Rachel Ashwell's shabby chic for Target. And I think you guys taught me that was simply shabby chic. This one, I believe, is this is also simply shabby chic. And I'm gonna show you the label for it. So when I saw this label and the color and the design of the um, of the panels, their, their drapery, I thought, oh yeah, I'll take those. Because Shabby Chic gets so much attention, even when it's saturated, I always do well with that brand name. So whether Shabby Chic be for Target or it's their own in-house brand, you want to go ahead and run a comp on those. I always make really good profit. And again, I'll report back on Instagram for the linens that we're talking about today of what the items bring so you can see what kind of profit we're talking. The next few items I actually picked up, I think it was in my last video, and I wanted to make sure to remember to show these to you guys up close. These are vintage needlepoint canvases, I think this is considered. And this is the company Hiawatha. I have picked up this company, I think once or twice before, where I recognized the company name. And luckily, these still had their tags. So I believe I bought the grouping of four. They gave me a price of $4, so a dollar a piece. Keep that in mind while we look at these, because again, I'll insert screenshots to show you guys what kind of profit we're talking. These aren't even really completed projects and somebody's gonna want them. I am so happy these didn't go to the landfill. You know, finding items in the thrift store when you know you've found treasure, when you've found a really good flip um, capability, it gets me very excited. But when I know I've saved this, this is more thrilling because somebody put hours and hours of work into this and it's so great that it's saved from the landfill and I get to make lots of profit on it. All right, let's take a look at these. A series of four, I believe they're all the same pattern. I'm going to take one so we can take a look at it. And even if the project is not finished, people want these. So this is what it looks like. It is just a square of like this canvas type of material. It's needlepoint material. And the tag reads, Han Hiawatha Made, or Handmade Hiawatha Needlepoint Hiawatha Heirloom. 26 by 26 is the canvas size. So we have one, two, three, Four. And this last one, 
the floral work was finished and they started the background. I think somebody planned on making pillows with these, but these are also used on like dining room chairs or um, an armchair in the living room or in the parlor. Just beautiful. The French provincial ones bring very good money. Um, oh, just all different ones. Just amazing. All right, so a dollar, I'm probably thinking if I sold them separately, 70 to 80 dollars but i think i'm keeping these together because they matched and they've made it this far together even through goodwill so um, i want to keep them together again i'll report back i'm thinking over 200 dollars for a four dollar investment nobody else was touching these in the thrift store yes please put them in my cart i'll take them all day long all right guys so that is the end of this part of the haul and talking about what kind of items i really like to find a lot of these items nobody is paying attention to they are flying under the radar and i scooped them up but now you could scoop them up too we'll all be competing against each other which i never mind i love to hear your stories that i helped you find something or know you know a brand name or whatever i see you guys in the thrift stores all the time or when i'm out in public now <laughs> which is a little bit um, just humbling, but I appreciate it so much when you come up to me and say, hey, you talked about this in your video and I found one and made all of this money. Nothing could thrill me more. I don't ever feel like I'm in competition with you guys. I love to share my secrets because I think there's plenty in the world for everybody, even if everybody thrifted in the whole world, somehow there'd still be a ton of stuff. All right, next part of the video, I'm gonna do a high profit thrift finds pretty much specifically for linens because I feel it's a very undervalued category. You don't see too many linens niche sellers and we have a lot of linens in the United States. All right, hit that like and subscribe button. Let's take a look at what items I picked up that brought crazy good profit. Here's another episode of High Profit Thrift Finds. This one's going to be all about the linens that I've sold recently. The first one, Vintage Ralph Lauren. We always love Vintage Ralph Lauren items. This is a twin sheet set. I believe I paid one price for all three pieces and that was about $3.50 sold for $44 plus shipping. Next item, Pottery Barn, always Pottery Barn. I have bins and bins of Pottery Barn items. I always buy them, especially if they're new. Here, $149.40 for one drapery. It is the three-in-one pull top, and I paid $5 for it. Next up, again, vintage Ralph Lauren. Love these. I found this in a thrift store, and when I picked it up, I realized that the down comforter was inside this duvet cover. So I took a look at that, and it was quite dirty. I didn't want to spend the money for having it dry cleaned. So I asked the thrift store if we could separate the two pieces, and I wound up paying $2.50 for this duvet cover, $143.40. Next up, two pillowcases, Vintage Ralph Lauren. This is the name to look for, $35 for two pre-owned pillowcases. You can't beat that. Next up, this is Sur La Table. This is, um, these are, I should say, tea towels, two of them, $23. Okay, Pottery Barn, $99 for this gorgeous queen duvet cover. I found this one and a bird print one that I believe I still have in my store and I think I paid $4.50 each. Next up, look at the price this brought, $178.80, four Pottery Barn drapes and I think I paid $2.50 a piece, so figure about $10 buy-in price. Here is Berkshire Blanket Company. This is not a blanket, this was a king bed sheet set but it only had one pillowcase. It was missing one, $59.95. And the last one is the chenille cover that I show in my thumbnail. This thing is gorgeous. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Go out and get what's yours.